Hey guys, as here at Shield Canine, let's talk a little bit more about the focus heel. So we're going to do a little video here where I'm going to talk about progressing the focus heel from what you saw in the first two videos. And I'm going to use uh, my buddy Gage here. Now, I'm going to introduce a, a, a tool called the healing stick, all right? And this is a fantastic tool uh, if your dog is struggling a little bit with the head position. Um, I find a lot of Malwas have a good natural head position. It's easier for them to kind of elevate their chin and have that nice... Uh, you know, driving forward, prancy kind of heel. Um, but I find that a lot of German Shepherds, depending on the body shape, maybe struggle a little bit more with this. So this is something um, that the, the stick can really help the dog understand what it is that you're looking for um, and give the dog a little bit of a training aid to help the dog move forward. So I'm gonna kind of demonstrate quickly and then I'll get started. Before I do that, uh, I just quickly like to talk about these training pants that I'm wearing. These are Eric Outdoor training pants. Um, I get them from Eric Outdoor USA. Uh, in case you haven't noticed watching my other videos, we wear these pants, um, you know, all the time when we're training dogs here. I have one in every color. These are fantastic pants, made, made really well. Um, I just got tired of getting holes in my jeans um, and I was looking for comfortable pants that I could wear, whether I'm doing bite work with dogs or just obedience training and, 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 and pants that are durable and, and comfortable. So these Eric Outdoor pants, fantastic. Uh, use promo code SHIELD10 to get 10% off. Eric Outdoor USA, check them out. They make pants, uh, jackets, sweaters, and vests. Okay, now, moving forward, let's get uh, Gage's attention. So there you go, you can see. And using the stick as a guide, the dog makes contact on the stick with his chin, okay? This is not how we start the training. This is obviously well into the training. He's almost actually ready for me to fade the stick completely out. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna kind of show you guys how I would introduce uh, the stick to a dog that doesn't know it. So he knows it, ah, sit, sit. He knows it. So what I will do in the beginning is I'll just touch the chin, and I just make a little bit of pressure, little bit of pressure. If your dog already knows the position, hey, come here, come here, come in. If your dog already knows the position, you can put him in the position and pull him forward a little bit with the food. And when he makes contact, immediately reward, right? And you just want the dog to have no problem making contact with the stick, okay? So you put the stick across your body, you bring him forward, right? And I don't really care if he makes contact on the end of the stick, in the middle of the stick. It doesn't matter in the beginning. In the beginning, hey, I just want the dog to be comfortable making, hey, making that contact. I don't want him chewing on it. And I just want that contact. Yeah. And for a lot of dogs, that contact really helps them, right? Because what a lot of people do with puppies is they do this, right? Yeah. And you can see he's pushing on my hand. And that's contact. But what happens is with a lot of dogs, when you remove your hand, that lack of contact can create some confusion. For some dogs, they handle it really well. You can start lifting your hand higher, 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 and then put it behind the dog's head or out to the side and really make good contact. Like my Malinois, she doesn't need really a healing stick. But this guy, he kind of wants to put his head down across my body and just look up at me. And that's not ideal. I want an elevated chin because when the dog's chin is elevated, you get that nice expressive movement. So this healing stick is a fantastic way to kind of teach the dog that behavior. So again, I'm gonna demonstrate. So in the beginning, I make contact. I make contact, okay, push up and reward. Once the dog is comfortable, once the dog is comfortable, bring him forward. There we go. There we go. And then from there, I start asking the dog a few sessions like that. I start asking the dog, hey, find the stick with your chin. I'm not going to give it to you. Okay. Oops. Right. So you can see he finds it. Right. And my hand is elevated now. And then what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start to put my hand where the ball is going to be. So for me, I like to put the ball on my upper chest because when I remove the ball, then the dog will be able to target my face. Hey, hey, come here. Yeah, yeah. 
So now the hand is up where the ball will be. Ah, yeah, Superman. And you can see that nice movement is there. Ah, yeah. Good job. Okay. So you guys kind of get the idea as to how we use the stick. Now, obviously, you do that for quite a while, allow the dog to really get used to finding the stick. And then after a while, you start to hold the stick down by your side, right? So I'll show you a little bit. Hey, come here. I just started fading the stick with him. So there's the stick, and now the stick goes away, and the stick again. Sorry, my hand was in the wrong place. Oh, yeah, yeah, super, yeah. And you can see, and if I did that, if I moved the stick away, and the head started to go down, guess what? Whoop, stick back up, find the stick. And then the dog starts to learn where to put his chin, right? Where they put their chin is really important, as is where they look. But some dogs can have their head in a bad position and still look at your face. So for him, what he naturally wanted to do was put his head across my body and still he could look directly up at my face. So it's not such a pretty picture. It might be correct healing, but it's not a pretty picture. So again, stick away, stick back. And the stick up. That's it. Good job. Okay, guys. So this is how I use the healing stick to help the dog a little bit in his head position. And again, things have to be faded. After a while, my hand can't be here. After a while, the stick can't be here. Hey! Spin. 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 There you go, hand down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And I remove the help and reward the dog. Okay, guys. So I hope this helps. Once again, um, healing stick, really good for helping a dog with head position. You don't need to use it with all dogs. Like I said, my Malinois, she has a really good natural head position. She doesn't really need that much help um, like with a stick. But I found with him it really did help and it added clarity. If you have a dog who likes to also get a little bit too far forward, right? So if you have a dog who kind of wants to be here, what you can do is go tap, 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 tap. There you go. A little bit of tap, tap. And it helps the dog kind of stay back. In the beginning, what would happen is when I would heal with him, he'd really push into the stick. And when I felt weight, a little bit too much pressure on the stick, I'd go pop, pop, and immediately, oh, okay. And he'd kind of ease off the stick a little bit and just make that gentle contact, which is what you're looking for. So anyways, guys, I hope this helps you. Um, if you like the video, like, subscribe, and um, stay tuned for more uh, helpful content. Ditch us.